Hey everybody, welcome back to Dad's 801 Garage and the 801 Life. We're out here at the shop. We uh, dropped off the uh, 68 High Boy and uh, have a guy helping us out. He's, he went through and uh, replaced the rear main seal, resealed the intake, uh, did a bunch of gaskets for us, just kind of resealed that motor. We had some leaks going on and uh, he helped us out. So anyway, we're gonna go pick it up and then uh, we'll take you out and show you the truck. Hey everybody, so here's the truck. Uh, I want to do a quick walk around, just kind of explain what he ended up doing for us. And uh, then we're going to get to scrubbing down on this, try and remove some of the oxidation and clean up the uh, truck so we can get it ready for paint and uh, clear coat. So we got a lot of projects coming up and just keep in tune. All right, so when we uh, picked it up, of course, you guys might recall in the earlier video, we had a pretty serious leak from underneath. And uh, the original owner thought it might be the uh, rear main seal. And so that was the first thing we meant to address. But uh, when we got looking at it closer, the leak was actually coming from up high on the back side of the motor behind the uh, intake manifold where it meets the block. And that was the, the worst part, the worst part of it. But uh, so uh, we had the uh, top of the motor pulled off. and he resealed all the gaskets. And in the process, he found this push rod that was bent, which is good, I'm glad we found that, got that replaced. Um, also, he repainted the uh, valve covers. The intake manifold under there. And then of course, underneath, see under there it's pretty greasy under there still but uh, all the way under there he repainted our oil pan got that cleaned up So now our goal today, that we've, now that we've picked it up, is we're going to get this thing washed and cleaned up. So stick around. Before we start washing this old truck, we decided to tear out this bed liner. It was in really bad shape. Uh, for quite a few years, this old truck had been used to haul wood and uh, it had torn up this bed liner. And of course, a whole bunch of debris was packed in underneath it between the bed liner and the uh, bed surface. So we wanted to remove that stuff so we could get this thing cleaned up and ready.
right, here she is, all nice and clean. At least as clean as we're gonna get it for now. We got a lot of surface rust and oxidation that was up on there. Um, it's a good looking truck. Yeah, blew out that bed. We'll do a bed liner in there, some spray and bed liner or something. Just kind of clean that up. All right. This wraps up our work for today, everybody. So uh, we're gonna get moving on to the next phase of this project now that we've got it wet sanded and cleaned up. We've got the engine sealed up, got those leaks taken care of. Uh, we're gonna start getting a lot of these new parts that we've had delivered over the last few days, uh, get those put on, get some uh, paint done on the lower half and get it clear coated and start tearing out that interior. So stick with us. Hopefully you've enjoyed the uh, progress so far and hopefully you'll uh, stick around and watch the uh, follow up to these videos and see the results of what we're going to do with this truck. So please like and subscribe, leave a comment and we can get back to you. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.